Jeff Gutshaw. Jeff asks, can you explain the UIM process, underinsured motorist process and personal injury accident case, and specifically why there is a need to notify the UIM policy when the at-fault covered? Jeff, are you the guy that I talked to? I hope you are. I talked to you earlier this week, and 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 we were I was talking to you about that. You have a lot of good questions. Um, uh, and the need, why there is a need to notify the UAM policy when the outfall coverage makes a policy limit settlement offer. Additionally, does the UAM have the ability to say no and to? And so, how, why would that happen? Um, so, let me answer that question. So, um, the so the UAM process in a case is that um oh sorry i'm getting uh text from my daughter lord uh so uh the you notify the uim holder because they could tell you listen i know that this driver has um, only $25,000 in coverage. And I know that you have $100,000 in UIM. And I know that you want to take the 25 from that driver and give them a full release so that no one can ever sue them again and then come after us for the 100. But we looked and this driver lives in a $20 million house and has $20 million in the bank. So we don't want you to settle your case for 25 grand. I don't know why the hell he had terrible insurance, but uh, this, this guy's got money. We're going to go after him. So instead of you settling with that torque feeser, instead, assign us your claim or go with us in your claim. Don't do that yet. Let's try to get a, a better recovery against that guy um, because we'll never be able to go against that guy or that guy owns five houses or whatever the deal is. They, they want to make sure, and they also want to make sure that you're not doing any kind of, I think probably any kind of scam, like you get hit by a friend of yours or something. Um, so, because um, it's a contract, um, and I, you know, you have to notify them, they have to know about it. They also want to make sure that you're not, that you didn't miss any insurance. What if the other side has a, um, a a they give you a uh, twenty five thousand dollar offer, but they have excess or umbrella insurance that you never asked for. You never asked for an affidavit saying that that's all the insurance they have. They want to make sure that now we don't have that with our office, but they, all kinds of folks come to their insurance companies with UIM or underinsured motorist coverage. They want to make sure the person is really underinsured, um, and so there you go. Um, do they have the ability to say no? No, that you can settle your case with them. They don't have the ability to say no. They have the ability to say, this is how this is going to affect your UIM claim. Because we want to vet this guy and make sure this this per, this lady, make sure she's not a multimillionaire. But did you leave Did you leave med pay on the table? What's the med pay? There's other stuff. Um, so there's other stuff about that. Um, Jeff, I hope I answered your question. You can always call us if you have more questions.